I will not be supporting Councillor Lee's motion. I believe that it creates a legal loophole, one that's the size of a whale, the size of a dolphin, or the size of a shark. It's still a legal loophole. Um, he's, or an elephant. He's proposing that, uh, that we use scientific research or educational purposes to permit the possession and perhaps the sale of, of shark fin or the trade of shark fin. Japan uses that same reason to continue whaling in international waters despite the cries of other nations to stop. So I cannot support that. I also will not be supporting Councillor Holliday's well-intentioned motion because I believe it's not technically correct. It distracts and subtracts from the intention and recommendations of our committee who passed the recommendations unanimously to this chamber for adoption. Cultural appropriateness is not before us today. And I thank my friends for, for coming to, to my culture's defense. Thank you very much. I'm glad that we've done a lot of anti-oppression work recently in this chamber. Thank you. But the consumption of shark fin is not cultural. It's the consumption of a luxury food product. It's simply a luxury consumer item. It's an optional menu item in a few select restaurants, as good as they are, it's one of 200, sometimes 300 items on a menu. And it's consumed by a select group of people under some occasions. Now, if we ban rice and the consumption of rice at my dinner table, then we've got a war on our hands, and then it will truly be a cultural war. I'm the daughter of a Hong, of, I'm, I'm Hong Kong born. For those who don't know, I was born overseas. And I'm the daughter of a very proud Chinese-Canadian father who happens to come from the restaurant industry. And he was a distinguished and award-winning chef. My father served as an honorary member of the Ontario Chinese Restaurant Association, where I think he still is a member today. He's 73 years old. And my father said to me, you're doing the right thing. This is correct. Why don't you ban it in six months? Now, I said, Dad, it's going to take place 12 months. We have to be fair to the business owners. He said, OK, fine. So we brokered that deal at the dinner table with my family. <laughs> now, I, I can also tell you that I'm pretty confident that it's not an attack on culture if we try to ban shark fin, because the same legislative grassroots movements are taking place in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and China, the largest populations of the world that consume shark fin. It's not cultural. Anyone that tells you that's cultural is misleading this council. Municipalities in Ontario can use, can, sorry, can ban the sale, the consumption, and the trade of shark fin through our powers to legislate surrounding these issues, animal welfare and protection, public health and safety, consumer protection. Banning shark fin accomplishes animal welfare objectives. It also protects the public or the consumers from health risks associated with consuming <coughs> toxic chemicals. These, even by, the, by admission from our city solicitor, can be deemed as municipal purposes. So we've actually removed that argument from the table. She's saying, folks, be careful. That's the, the role of a solicitor. Every solicitor will tell us to be careful. Tighten up your seatbelt, but don't. You can still drive the car. Just be careful. Look always before you cross the street, but be careful. That's what she's giving us today. That's her sound advice. I think that we've determined this. Now, I believe that it's time for us to truly walk the walk and not just talk the talk. Today we have the opportunity to pass a motion that will be heard across this country. In June I went to Halifax for the FCM conference and there I spoke to city councillors from Markham, Richmond Hill. And they said, Councillor, we hear you might be banning shark fin in Toronto. And I said, yes, that's going to be before Toronto City Council. Well, we'll be watching you very carefully. I spoke to a city councillor in Vancouver, who has a very large, sizable Chinese population, and she said, we're going to be watching Toronto. We are being watched across this country. The way that Toronto goes, the way Canada goes. It's time for us to not just talk about it. It's time for us to do something. It's time for us to act today. Thank you very much. Okay.